Abdul Rafi and the team at Nella Express participated in the relief work by shutting down the restaurant and using the kitchen to work. Here, Abdul recounts an incident which changed his mindset towards the relief work. Well, uh, on the second day itself, a lady comes up to me and she goes like, uh, you've been giving food to eat. Mm. Now, how about a place to use the restroom? Mm. What about that? So, mm. that's when it struck us, okay, okay you know what, uh, mm. giving food is just uh, maintaining some sort of uh, organized chaos of sorts. Mm. Yeah, Alright, your primary read is food, you got your food, now mm. please go. Mm. It felt like that and that's when we were like, okay, we can't do that. Mm. Uh, what should be done is rehabilitate these people. Mm. Because what has primarily been destroyed is their life or their means of livelihood. Mm -hmm. So that's when we came over, uh, we came upon this plan. Okay, okay, we will continue running this thing, mm -hmm. wherein we are collecting, buying, and giving things out. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, what we will do is we'll adopt at least two or three streets, mm -hmm. or if uh, our funds permit us, even more, and go individually into those streets and mm -hmm. see how badly hit these people are. Mm -hmm. And if we can pull them along for a month. If we say, okay, you know what, your ball is broken, mm. okay, mm. giving food and blankets and mats to that person is mm. not going to solve his problem. His mm. wall is still going to remain broken. Mm. So, need to go there, fix his wall up for him. Mm. That will solve his problem. Some people, yes, food is a crisis. But I think it has to go beyond that. Abdul insisted that the restaurant did not want any publicity for the help they provided and went on to talk about the media's coverage of the disaster. See, uh, the basic belief system that we have uh, in Islam is that mm. basic thing about charity, your right hand should not know what your left hand does. Mm. Okay, and that's the reason I have been uh, telling you, okay, okay, we do not want any sort of publicity because it also feels a little uh, parasitic. Mm, okay. okay, we uh, this is not something you feed publicity of. Someone else's misery is not something you should be publicizing. Mm. Photographs of people standing out in a line receiving relief mm. material is the most vulnerable position you could put that person in. Mm. Imagine yourselves in that place. Imagine how much you have to lower your self-esteem mm. to go stand in a line and receive material from someone else. Mm. Would you like a life like that? And if someone has been reduced to a life like that, why would you go around publicizing it? Nella Express worked under the guise of the United Disaster Relief Front and Abdul talks about the politicizing of the disaster and the inaccessibility to disaster zones because of this. More than the inaccessibility, it was also the politicizing of this particular situation. This guy from uh, the DMK's office come in uh, from the Gopalapuram constituency. I think what, so that chap had come in in the morning and he was like, uh, you have to come and do this. He like, see, we'll do it. But we will not do it for your cadre only. Show us the street, show us the people affected, give us a list, we'll arrange everything they need. Mm -hmm. Inshallah, to the best of our ability, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll do it there. But we will not do something where you tell us, okay, okay uh, these are the DMK cadres, uh, he is our leader, mm -hmm. this is the DMK's logo, mm -hmm. that will be up plastered. We don't want to do stuff like that. Mr. Abdul goes on to share his opinion on a few issues about which not many people had been asking the right questions. Using the chaos theory, he debunks the myth that Chennai is the only city that would have taken care of itself despite such a large-scale disaster. I mean, how many of the insurance companies are covering this? How many of the insurance companies are going to pay out on the vehicular insurance? How many of them are actually going to get paid on the days they haven't reported to their work? There are a lot of daily wage laborers. Their labor has been affected. How many of those contractors are going to pay them? And these are questions no one seems to be asking. Everyone is happy, yes, Chennai did come together, yes, the number of volunteers was more than the number of people affected. But what is the solution for all of these problems? There's something called as chaos theory. Has anyone of you? Okay. The idea is that even in chaos, things will move forward. 
and i think that is the best way to describe our country as such because we do not and we cannot move on in an organized structure so in the worst of chaos we will find our way to pick ourselves up and step forward and uh, see it's it's just not chennai i i'm not bashing the fact that chennai came together but i what i want people to realize is anybody else would have also done the same thing i mean if you see someone drowning are you telling me that someone in mumbai or in hyderabad would say ah he's drowning i'm going to walk along mm, okay yes it is nice to celebrate the fact that chennai came together but please now come together and find solutions for this because it is the same people who are hiring these daily wage laborers mm-hmm. so why isn't chennai coming together then see this whole uh, ruckus about garbage being dumped garbage being dumped it's not the first time this has been said yeah that people have been doing this for years on end mm-hmm. okay there has always been someone or the other saying right from gandhi ji mm-hmm. saying keep your streets clean mm-hmm. i mean when have we listened and what have we acted on nothing and even now uh, a lot of the places okay you went you gave food where was all of that packet dumped okay where did all of that waste go didn't go anywhere still lying there go take a look at those places so something which is just like about say a week old and people still haven't learned their lessons from it